Hello everyone, thanks for joining. Today we are going to see the AWS implementation where we will create a lambda function that will capture events from S3 bucket and then lambda function will trigger the SNS topics to send emails to the subscribers. Goal for the day is that upload, update or deletion events onto the S3 bucket should trigger AWS lambda function. Further, Lambda function will fetch the file details and trigger AWS SNS topic to send an email notification to the stakeholders or subscribers with the required file details and contents. One of the possible use case uh, could be that organizations critical documents if those are stored onto S3 buckets such as contracts and policies then businesses may want to update the stakeholders or departments such as legal department or support center that some changes has been made into the contracts and policies uh, documents uh, and those changes are now available onto S3 bucket. The only prerequisite is a person should have AWS account. This is our high level design wherein we will trigger the events from S3 our lambda function will capture the event and then pass it on to Amazon SNS which is going to trigger emails to the stakeholders. Our game plan is that we will first create S3 bucket, we will create SNS subscription and confirm the email subscription, create a policy and role and that role will attach to the lambda function which we will create as a step 4 and then resources to create a policy and the lambda function code in python language that is available onto my github repository i'll also place this into the description of this video all right so once you are into aws management console we can look for the service s3 and inside amazon s3 we will create a bucket it will provide the bucket name s3 lambda demo one thing to remember is that bucket names are unique globally so if you are planning to use the exactly same bucket name it might not work so try to append it with your name for now i'll just keep s3 hyphen lambda demo because it looks like it is available i'll select the region as north virginia but for yourself please feel free to select your preferred region we'll keep everything else as is to maintain the simplicity and we'll create a bucket great so our bucket is now created with name s3 hyphen lambda demo the next step is to create sns and then subscription and then we have to confirm the email subscription so we'll go to services we'll look for simple notification service sns here we are at sns dashboard to create a topic i'll select topics and then create topic the name of the topic we'll keep topic hyphen lambda demo and rest everything we'll keep as is for the simplicity and we'll create a topic okay the topic is created we can take a note of ARN or you can come later to copy this then we'll create a subscriptions Our topic ARN is already populated here so we'll just go ahead and select the protocol which is going to be email in our case and then the endpoint is going to be the email address onto which we want to receive emails. We'll keep everything else as is and create the subscription. Now when we create the subscription your personal email ID which you have entered is going to receive AWS notification subscription confirmation email which you have to open and confirm the subscription 
To create a policy in AWS, I have made few resources. Uh, a direct URL for this GitHub repository is available into the description. Uh, please use that URL and hit that into your browser. Then go to the policy JSON file. Over here, we are granting access to write logs and then we are granting get object for the S3 bucket and then publish writes for SNS topic that we have created. From line number 27 to 30, we have to make few changes into the JSON file before we'll create a policy out of it. We have to replace these numbers including the brackets we have to replace this with our aws account number and then we have to replace this entire bracket with the s3 bucket name that we have created for demonstration and then we have to replace the account number again and then replace this break bracket also with the sns topic name that we have created once all of this is done we are now ready to create our AWS policy for Lambda execution. So either you can download all these three files at once or for now I'll just copy the content. And we'll switch to AWS management console. From here I look for IAM identity access management we'll select that and we'll click on policies and create a policy click on json and we can replace all of it with our json file now after placing your appropriate AWS account number and S3 and SNS topic name into the policy we can click on review policy name it policy underscore lambda demo and we can create the policy once created we can create a role and then we'll attach this policy with our role go to roles create role choose a use case wherein lambda is going to be our use case click on next permissions and then we'll select the policy that we created policy underscore lambda demo proceed review we'll call it role for lambda demo and we'll create a role okay so our role is now created all right so only the last step is pending creation of lambda function for that i'll go back to the github repository for which the url is available into the description and this time we we'll look at lambda function python file so please read this and then one major thing is you have to replace this entire text including brackets with your sns topic arm uh, that we were talking about so for now i will just copy the content from here if you wish you can download the file too we'll copy this and move back to aws management console here we will look for lambda function i'm sorry the lambda service we'll create function author from scratch is okay we will name our lambda function as lambda demo the runtime we will select as Python 3.7. Click on choose or create an execution role. Because we have already created a role for this, we will select use an existing role. 
click on this and this will give us list wherein we have role underscore lambda demo that we created and we'll create function all right so now inside configuration we'll select lambda demo scroll down and replace this lambda underscore function dot py file content with what we have copied from github repository and then we'll replace this with our sns arm once we have replaced the sns arn into the script click on save scroll up and now we are going to add trigger select a trigger as s3 select the bucket that we have created in our case it is s3 hyphen lambda demo we'll keep the event type all object create events and we'll keep the trigger enabled add this for now we have only one trigger we'll add one more trigger with the same s3 bucket this time we'll select the event type as all object delete events we'll keep the trigger enabled and add this so now we have got two triggers those are specific to s3 bucket all right so now we'll add the destination as an sns topic that we created we'll select on success because we want this to be triggered only when the file upload update or delete is successful the destination type sns topic and the destination is the topic name that we created for this demonstration and we'll hit save and that's it now the only pending part is testing so we'll go to services select s3 go to the bucket we created and we'll upload a dummy json file into it add a file dummy json and upload it could be any json file so by now you might have received two emails one with the actual metadata that has been triggered by the destination that we have added and another one that must be in this format which was scripted into our python script feel free to make any formatting changes into that script as per your need basically the information that it is going to give is the subject line will keep the bucket name in which any changes has happened for the file and the event that has been created so since we uploaded the file it is showing object created put then the bucket name file name that has been changed or uploaded or deleted the operation that has been performed onto that the file content type because we uploaded json that is why it is uh, saying application json and then the file content of that json file um, depending on your need if the data is critical feel free to remove the file content from the from our python script and you should be good uh, and this is all this is how easy it is to implement thanks for watching the video if you like this please hit like and subscribe and feel free to leave the comments have a good day